Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Coach Ty Lewis said it, the most important thing is health. And the Clippers didn't have it last season. Big time missed by Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Norman Powell right on down the line. Despite all that, they continued to battle. Lou said, these guys just keep fighting every single night. Kevin, back to you. They did, and it showed, and it was fun to watch. Terrific. David, thanks. You can feel the excitement for the new season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening day that really stands out in your mind? Uh, back in 95, I think it was, we started the season with back-to-back with -back wins. And the team was feeling good. Then we uh, promptly lost 21 straight. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for them. Holiday out there with Carter. And it's Allen in at the small forward position. And for the Clippers, the wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubac. Here we go. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. Tip off goes to the Clippers. The pass to George. Over Carter. Off the left rim and out. Bojanis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Here's Carter. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. I mean, really, this is the evolution, the point forward concept in full display here tonight as Giannis is becoming one of the more dominant versions of that. Milwaukee shooting their first free throw of the evening. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. Something that stands out about the Bucks is their versatility in their offensive package. I mean, they use penetration, and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. And Brent, what would you say is the secret to the Bucks' deep offensive arsenal? Well, it's a variety of talents that they have on the floor. There's just a combination of guys who want to move the ball, want to move their bodies, and then get the ball to Giannis and he get out of the way. Here's George. After Drew Holiday's score, and George kicks to Morris. And again, no good by the Clippers. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. A shot by Carter. Nobody around. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Now, here is George. Count it. You can only do so much right there. It's a good challenge on the Paul George shot. Bucks on defense. Jackson passes to Zubats. Morris kicks to George. Buries it from three-point range. George has got five now. This is what you expect. Paul George can get it going from the perimeter like that. Andrikumbo with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Back to Allen. On the wing, Holiday. To the inside, Leonard with the steal. Outside, George shoots from the elbow. Again, Los Angeles. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Back to Holiday. This screen on Jackson. The shot by Holiday, no good. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Jackson kicks to Morris. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And to Takumbo. And this is why Giannis is up there every season as one of the league leaders in dunking the basketball. Just way too easy. Jackson against Holiday. Down low. And the dunk by Zubac. And how about just floating to the rim on that?
that slam. Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Now here is Holiday. Kicks it out to Giannis. Back to Holiday. No good from outside. The Clippers trail. Outside, George. Pass to Jackson. Leonard with the ball. Over Allen. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Jackson. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. And you just look at what Marcus Morris has done in his career. Well, such a solid forward in the game right now, averaging over double digits in the last eight years, but it's been that expansion and the fact that he can step behind the three-point line and be as deadly as he's been the past couple seasons. Uh, it's been a remarkable, consistent offensive production uh, for his career. And he sinks the second. And he can't make it three for three. Brent, looking back, the Clippers have really put the tent. And still an elite score because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Now here's Jackson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shot clock at five. Nobody near George. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Got the rebound here tonight. Outside Holiday. Here's the three. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got three assists now in this one. Here's the pass to Zubats. Back to Wall. There's the dish to George. They find Jay on the way, and the shot is long. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. He kicks it to Ingles. Giannis outside. And they double up Giannis. Holiday against Wall. Nice shot by Portis. And now it's a three-point Milwaukee lead. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. The Clippers shooting at around 40 times. Batum grabs the miss. Pass to George. the final possession with the nice defense right there. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. We come back right after this. It's going to work, and sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. Portis has become a bit more of a volume three-point shooter tonight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. No one near Wall as he lets it go. Drills it from outside. Wall's got five. Yeah, I mean, from three. Wall looking relaxed out there and... One of the game's more confident players. He can be a streaky, but deadly outside shooter. Now Leonard, following Drew Holiday's three-point attempt. And another three for the Clippers. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. They're the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak. They had back from 1980 to 91. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. A while back in fourth start, that's for sure. All passes to Leonard. Two bots in the post. 
Working on Portis. They grab their own miss. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Looking back to last season, he was at about 73%. One shot. One shot. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? Portis sets the pick for Giannis. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And Giannis adding muscle to his frame for these types of situations. He'll keep getting bigger and stronger, but willing to take the hit. For the Clippers organization, GA, what do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the Finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy. That's good from Adetokounmpo. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave the shooter open, he tends to find it. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now, here's Wall. He's got eight. Inside. Stolen by Zubac. Wall passes to Leonard. And the rejection by Giannis! This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Portis in the post. Zubac defending. Stolen by Zubac. Batum scanning the floor. Launches it. And he gets it back. Batum a screen on Giannis. Here's Wall. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Los Angeles. They're really mucking things up for the opposition, racking up steal after steal, just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal, and you can get out and transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. And here is Los Angeles now, following the three by Milwaukee. Powell in the high post. Six on the shot clock. Back to Wall. Shoots the three. Unable to get that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Here's Allen. Here's Portis. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Some toughness that Portis brings to the court. He's willing to finish through contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. And Los Angeles with some changes. George has checked in for Batum. And it's Luke Kennard in for Norman Powell. physicality that Bobby Portis brings to the game is something that his teammates really get behind. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Out of the Kumbo finds Carter. There's the lob and the Kumbo takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Every night there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. 
And there's the pass to Zubats. Now here is George. Zubats with the screen for George. Outside Wall. And here's Leonard from three. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Milwaukee shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. All passes to Zubats. Pass to George. Zubats a screen on Allen. George passes to Zubats. Sinks that one from the post. Zubats has got nine. All the way to the bucket. Nope. Just a poor shooting performance for him, but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Holiday. Well, Drew Holiday right now has the pull up, Jay, on lockdown. He's as efficient as it gets pulling up off the dribble. All against Holiday. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Carter right side. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. And the jump by Giannis. And more and more the confidence of Giannis to be one of those go-to scorers. We're seeing those signs. Carter against George. And the layup is good. George has got 16. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail. -off. Hard to get upset that the defense there at Tentacubo is no easy matchup down low in the paint. This will make fun. Now oh, Jackson. George with a screen on Holiday. Outside, Batum. That's good for George on the assist by Batum. And that's now 18 points for Paul George. The Bucks have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Holiday surveying the floor. Lock at six. Here's Giannis. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Adedekumbo has got 28 points for the game. Batuma screen on Connaughton. It's Powell on the wing. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Batum, good. Batum with no hesitation that time. Coaches encouraging him to shoot that one. Bucks have gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Ingles finds Giannis. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Now Holiday, guarded by Powell. Adedekumbo setting the pick for Holiday. Out to the wing, Connaughton. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Great tee that time from Batum. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. Well, he's been everywhere, and collecting those rebounds, that ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. Now here is Holiday. He's got 14, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's going to send Drew Holiday to the free throw line. Marcus Morris picks one up there. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Paul George. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game. But 
Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple All-Star seasons. Now, here's Batum. The pass to Jackson. Kennard for three. It's hauled in by Giannis. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Outside Holiday. High post try. Morris with the rebound. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Batuma screen on Connaughton. Here's Powell in the corner. It's Morris. The shot from 20 feet away. That one a little long. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Holiday. Over Jackson. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Barry's the long-range jumper. Jackson's got six points in the quarter. And Jackson's showing off a little bit of his range that time, so confident in that release. Here's Holiday. Kicks it out to Giannis. Powell against Connaughton. Ingles in the corner. Back to Connaughton. Giannis dishes to Holiday. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Holiday's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Bucks. It's to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Crossed up the D perfectly. Now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Giannis outside. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the third. Holiday gets the bucket. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half, guys. Jackson up top, guarded by Holiday. Pass to Powell. Batum sets a screen for Powell. Outside for Batum. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now there's under the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. His stat line has been terrific. As the quarter ends, he's already got a double-double. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Let's try to get a great shot, not settling for good. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. Jackson is the point with Kennard on the wing. Marcus Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. This is it to Bochamp. Portis kicks to Giannis. And the double up on Kumbo. Here's Bochamp, and a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. And the Bucks lead by seven. Now, here's Kennard. Outside Jackson, three-pointer. Anadokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Pass to Portis. The kick out to Lopez. To the wing right side. Now the pass to Bochamp. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Well, Giannis knows he's a magnet for the defense, and that time just got off the ball. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Inside, Leonard. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from Portis. Bucks leading by nine. Holiday left side. Out to the right wing. Morris against Antetokounmpo. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. And that'll be his third foul so far. Well, he was very reliable keeping the ball in his hands during the first half. He's had a bad case of the Butterfingers here in the second. And the Clippers making a change here. 
Zubats is checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Others checked in. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And this is who he has become. Leonard with the great body control takes the hit and still able to sink the shot in one. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. All right, thank you, David. Now, here is Morris. Pass to Leonard. The three. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. On the Dacumbo against Morris. Here's Carter. Passes it to Portis. That's in there. Carter with the assist. Carter's got three assists now in this one. Not easy to keep Bobby Portis away from the painted area where he carves out a lot of room and just works hard. And the Clippers miss again. Milwaukee leading by seven. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Outside, Holiday. Here's another rebound. Rebound after rebound after rebound. Oh, uh, GA, he is crashing the glass with energy. I love it. Four on the clock. Onto Takumbo, passes the corner. Portis kicks to Onto Takumbo. Carter outside. Trains it from beyond the arm. Carter's got the lead up to 10 now for Milwaukee. And they've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. Here's Mann. Zubats a screen on Hubbard to the middle. Out to Morris. It's up a three. Here's Zubats. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Bobby Portis. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Back to Antetokounmpo. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Antetokounmpo's got 18 points now here in the second half. Uh, assists like that have tipped in the paint. Oh, Leonard in position. Oh, just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. Well, I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Here's onto Takumbo. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play field. chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. One shot. Throw no good for Giannis. Clippers trail by 13. To the paint. Here's Morris. And Morris throws it down. And the thing about Morris, doesn't have the big vertical, but tenacious once he gets around the rim. Here's onto Takubo. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Well, this team did something at halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. And Leonard gets it to go. Now you settle in and you watch the show coming from Kawhi as he's filling it up and doing it in a lot of ways. Antetokounmpo passes to Portis. Back to Antetokounmpo. Portis is screen on Morris. Giannis kicks to Holland. Six to shoot. Back to Giannis. And the double up on it to Stolen by Jackson. And the rejection by Giannis. Holiday, the pass to Portis. Portis a screen on Jackson. And they double up Giannis. Here's Holiday. It's held in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Pass to Jackson. Let's it go from 11. That ball. Nice feed that time from Leonard. 
Leonard. Leonard's got three assists tonight. Outside Holiday. Carter on the wing. Defended by George. Carter against George. And it's Carter missing. And for the Clippers, they're shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Leonard finds George. Hands it from downtown. Yeah, Paul George is sharpening his swords now. Love to see him take that shot. And now we've got the intentional foul. Rick Lopez is checked in for Portis. Forty-three seconds left to play in the final quarter. Morris against Giannis. And they go to the intentional foul. Marcus Morris Sr. That's his third personal foul. Fifteen foul. Shooting for Milwaukee. Giannis and Kaguta. At the line for two. He drops the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. And the Clippers call time here. They trail by eight. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Well, they'll need a very quick basket out of this timeout. Morris passes to George. Beyond the arc. And the rejection by Giannis. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Zubats with the screen for Jackson. The three from George. A rebound by the Bucks. 13 points was their biggest 11-point lead. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Giannis. The team picked it up in the second half. What changed out there? We were playing actually really competitive. We were playing hard, but I think in the third quarter, you know, when you start making shots, you even play harder defensively. And uh, we were moving the ball really well. And uh, we were just clicking as a team. And you guys controlled the last stretch, man. Thanks. Congrats. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.